Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider a numerical on bilinear transformation. And it has been given that assuming that t equal to 2 second in BLT stands for bilinear transformation, and given the following points. There are four points given. In that first point says that s equal to minus 1 plus j that lies on left half of the s plane. How do you say that? That depends on the real part, and if it is less than 0, I would say it, it lies on left half of the s-plane. Second point, s is equal to 1 minus j. This lies on right half of the s-plane. How do I say that? That depends on the real part. If it is greater than 0, then it lies on right half of the s-plane. Is that okay? Third and fourth point, there is only imaginary part, there is no real part. If there is no real part, it lies on j omega axis. If it is positive, it lies on positive j omega axis. If it is negative, it lies on negative j omega axis. Is that okay? So the task is to convert all of these points in S domain to Z domain and verify the mapping properties. So we'll consider solving this numerical. Whenever I want to convert S domain to Z domain, uh, using bilinear transformation, I have the expression S is equal to 2 uh, divided by T 1 minus Z inverse that gets divided by 1 plus z inverse. So this is the formula I make use to convert from s domain to z domain. We are already aware of this and I, there is one separate video and how do we get this expression. I recommend you to watch that video and come back. So now we know this expression. The task is, it is being given t is equal to 2. So that the expression gets reduced, it reduces to s is equal to 2 and 2 would cancel and I would simply get 1 minus z inverse that gets uh, divided by 1 plus z inverse. So if you could see here, the expression is in terms of s. But what I want, uh, s has already been given, the task is to find expression for z. So before I consider all those four, uh, four points, let me uh, rearrange this expression in terms of z. So let's uh, do that. This is 1. Uh, z inverse, I would write it as a 1 by z. That gets uh, divided by 1 plus 1 by z. Just take the LCM and try to simplify this further. I am going to get z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. Yes, equal to. So now just cross multiply them and try to get the expression in terms of z. So I am going to get s into z plus s equal to z minus 1. Rearrange the terms s z minus z is equal to minus 1 minus s. So in this expression take minus z out. So that will be left with 1 minus s. Correct? Which is equal to take minus 1 out. I will be left with 1 plus s. <coughs> so next uh, what, what, what I do is the minus sign would cancel. Therefore z is equal to I will get 1 plus s divided by 1 minus s. This is the expression I need to consider to get all those 4 points. Before I consider 4 points, I will consider the properties of uh, bilinear transformation so that uh, I can uh, comment on those properties. <coughs> so let me just import the properties of uh, mapping properties. So what property says, there are 3 properties. First property says the left half the left half S plane is mapped inside the unit circle of the Z plane. Is that okay? The first point is given that S equal to minus 1 plus J. This lies on uh, left half of the S plane. If I transfer this onto Z domain, it mapped inside the unit circle. So if mod Z is less than uh, 1. So here I need to get mod Z that is uh, that must be less than 1. So if I prove that mod z is less than 1 then it lies inside the unit circle. Second point right half of this plane that is uh, r greater than uh, 0 it lies uh, it maps onto outside the unit circle of the z plane. Condition is mod z must be greater than 1. Correct? The positive j omega axis uh, portion in the s plane mapped onto positive half of the unit circle while negative j omega axis is mapped onto the negative half circle on the unit circle. Is that okay? 
So now we will verify these properties. These are the mapping properties, and this is the figure that uh, the first point. Uh, this is uh, the figure with respect to the first point. The left half of the S plane gets mapped inside the unit circle. The condition for this is mod Z must be less than one. So now uh, let me consider all those uh, four points. Uh, yes, the very first point is S equal to minus one plus uh, J. Is that correct? So just me go up and check. The first point minus one plus j, and the expression for z is uh, one plus s divided by one minus s. We know that z equal to it is one uh, plus s divided by one minus s. So in this expression, put the value of s so that we'll get the value for z. One minus one plus j. That gets divided by one minus s. S is minus one plus j. Minus of minus it becomes plus one minus j. Is that is that correct? This is the first point. And uh, here uh, one and minus one would cancel. And ultimately I am going to get z is equal to j divided by two minus j. So this is the expression. The uh, I get it for z. But I cannot comment on the properties. If I want to comment, I need to rationalize this uh, factor. So what I do is I'll multiply the numerator and denominator with the two plus j. So what I'm doing, I'm just rationalizing the terms uh, so that I can comment on the properties. So multiply the uh, numerator, that is two uh, j plus uh, j square. Is that correct? Two j plus uh, j square. And in the denominator, uh, what do I have? In the denominator, I'm going to have uh, a plus b, a minus b, that is a square minus b square, that is 4 minus uh, j square. Just simplify, j square is minus 1. I'm going to get minus 1 plus 2j in the numerator, and in the denominator, I'm going to get uh, j square is minus 1 minus of minus it becomes plus 4 plus 1. It is a 5. So z is equal to something like this. So just uh, write this as minus 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 j. So this is the value for z. So this is how s has been converted into z domain. So now I need to comment on the property. So what the property says, it should map inside the unit circle. Is that okay? So how, how it gets inside the unit circle? For this I am going to find mod z. What must be mod z? It is the magnitude of z which is equal to square root of 1 by 5 square plus 2 by 5 square it is square root of a square plus b square so find this it must be less than 1 if it is less than 1 it maps inside the unit circle so I'm going to get just uh, let me check this this is 1 by 25 plus 4 by 25 so what is this uh, going to be it turns out to be 5 divided by 25 which again turns out to be square root of 1 by 5. So just make use of the simple calculator and get the value of uh, a square root of 1 by 5 which turns out to be 0.44. Correct? It turns out to be 0.44. So uh, what I can write is as mod z is less than 1. I got 0.44 it is less than 1 therefore it lies inside the unit circle inside the unit circle is that okay so this was the property and verified this property the first property said the left half of the s plane is mapped onto inside the unit circle of the z plane so it was the left half of s plane i considered and i proved that it, it is less than one hence it lies inside the unit circle so that is the first point Similarly, I have to consider the second point. What is second point? 1 minus j. So let me consider uh, second point. S equal to 1 minus j. So how do I find uh, 1 minus j? For this again I have the expression for uh, z. Z I got it as, uh, is that 1 plus s divided by 1 minus s? Yes? I think yes, yes. 1 plus s divided by 1 minus s. Yes. And now you put the value for uh, s. So I'm going to get 1 plus 1 minus j that gets divided by 
वन माइनस यस यस इज वन माइनस जे आई एम गुड गेट माइनस वन प्लस जे सो वन एंड वन वुड कैंसल एंड हियर इट टर्न्स आउट टू बी टू माइनस जे डिवाइडेड बाय जे इज दैट करेक्ट सो हाउ डू आई गेट द आंसर फॉर दिस आई गॉट इट एज टू माइनस जे डिवाइडेड बाय जे अगेन रैशनलाइज दिस बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग जे इन द न्यूमरेटर जे इन द डिनोमिनेटर आई एम गोइंग टू गेट टू जे हियर माइनस जे स्क्वायर दैट गेट्स डिवाइडेड बाय जे स्क्वायर जे स्क्वायर इज माइनस वन एंड इन द न्यूमरेटर आल्सो देयर इज माइनस वन आई एम गोइंग टू गेट माइनस वन प्लस टू जे डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस वन देयर फोर फाइनली जेड इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस टू जे इज दिस ओके सो अल्टीमेटली आई वुड गेट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर जेड जे स्क्वायर इज माइनस वन Minus one, minus one would cancel here, and this becomes minus one minus two j. Is this correct? So I'm going to get one minus two j, the value for z. So once it is done, let me find mod z. So what must be mod z here? Mod z must be square root of a square plus b square. Two square it is four. So what did I get now? Square root of one plus four, which turns out to be square root of five. So what is the value of square root of five? So just make use of the simple calculator and find uh, the answer for uh, root five. Root five turns out to be two point two three. So what is the conclusion? As mod z is greater than one, it lies outside the unit circle. Outside the unit circle. Correct. So this is with respect to the second point. And similarly, we need to find it for third point and fourth point. Third point is s equal to j and s equal to minus j. So let me find the answer for those things. Third point, s equal to, and it said the third point was s equal to plus j. And uh, what was the expression for z? Uh, z we had uh, this equal to one plus s divided by one minus s. 1 plus s divided by 1 minus s. If I put the value, I'm going to get 1 plus j divided by 1 minus j. So again, rationalize this. 1 plus j, 1 plus j. So what is the answer? This is 1 plus j square. It is uh, a square plus b square plus 2ab. Expand it. Denominator, I'm going to have uh, 1 square minus j square. So what is the answer? J square is minus one. This and this would cancel. This is two uh, j divided by uh, j square is minus one uh, minus of minus plus. This is two. Uh, two and two would cancel. And z also I am going to get it as j. Correct. So this is the third point. So as you can see that uh, there is no real part as as real part is equal to 0 therefore it lies on j omega axis is that correct so here i would say that it lies on imaginary axis it maps on to imaginary axis on the positive half so here it is going to map it is that okay the positive j omega axis in the s plane is mapped on to positive half of the circle on the unit circle so it is going to map on to the unit circle it lies on unit circle it lies on to unit circle but in the bracket i would say positive half as j is positive correct so this is what the conclusion is so now let me consider the last point that is fourth one s yes equal to minus j so if i do that uh, Z is equal to I have the expression one plus j divided by one minus j. So I'll let me just rationalize this. I'm going to get one plus j divided by one minus j into one plus j. Uh, no, I just made a mistake. So let me consider this point again. Yes, uh, the expression for z is equal to one plus yes. So it is not j. 
it was a small mistake. 1 plus s divided by 1 minus s. In place of s, I have a minus j. So I'm going to get 1 minus j divided by 1 minus of minus j, it is plus j. So now I've rationalized it by multiplying 1 minus j here and 1 minus j here. I'm going to get 1 minus j square. It is a minus b whole square. It is a square plus b square minus 2ab. That gets uh, divided by a square minus b square. So what is the answer? j square and minus j square is minus one. This and this would cancel. I'm going to get minus two uh, j. That gets divided by j square is minus one. That is the uh, two. So two and two would cancel. I'm going to get minus j. Therefore, z is equal to minus j. So this is the fourth point. So as what about the property? As a real part as a real part is equal to zero it lies it lies on unit circle it lies on the unit circle but as it is minus j it lies on negative half so i would say negative half of unit circle negative half of unit circle. Yes, this is how uh, we solve this numerical step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on uh, digital signal processing. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.